the Barai Reservoir. This is a clear water, man-made reservoir. Uh, West Barai is a popular spot for both Cambodians and locals to go to swim, enjoy something to eat, or relax with their friends and family. It costs nothing to go, although if you do want to rent a hammock or one of the tubes, you just pay very minimal. And this was our Cambodian pool day. It also has this tree that you can climb up like a monkey and jump out of. It was so much fun. The construction of this reservoir started in the 11th century. It has huts as far as you can see both ways and the beautiful green trees that are draping over it is so pretty. The floating village, Kompong Pluk. We drove a bus out here. Then we got on this boat with two stories, bottom and top. We came with our friend, Mr. Kuhn. There he is! So we started down the river and this village that we are about to go through has a population of about 3,700 people. People stay busy fishing, doing laundry, cooking, scaling, swinging ladders, the things they need to do to survive. They do all of this by boat during the wet season when the lake is high. But during the dry season, when the lake is low, there can be little to no water in some places, and some places are even land. They have health centers and churches. This is a house that is underwater, unfortunately. Here are some crocodiles. <laughs> Here we got to go on canoe rides through the forest, which was super pretty, but we got eaten alive by mosquitoes. It was about two to three people a canoe, per usual. Say hi. Hello. Then they had people selling food and drinks along the way. This is the Tonle Sap Lake that the river flows into, and during the dry season, a lot of it becomes land, which is crazy to think about. This is a restaurant that you can stop at. The village at night. Most of the houses are built on tall stilts or floating on bamboo rafts. Here 
are a couple days that we went fishing with Sambot, our friend. Uh, this day, he brought us out fishing to these little huts. The kids really enjoyed it. They use bamboo rods to fish. Peep our sweet tuk-tuk in the back. This is Samba and his family. Kids got to make a few new friends. This was our second day, our second fishing day with Sambat. This was uh, family friends of his. So we drove out to a place where we were surrounded by water and water buffalo, and that was about it. markets were Sambat's friends, family, and relatives. So that was kind of fun. He knew all of them and they were super welcoming people. The kids got to fish some more. The adults cooked. <laughs> Here he's cooking frogs and kebabs, which were so good. This was all kinds of food, rice, beef, pork, frogs, raw shrimp, <laughs> fish, some ice cream. We would definitely call this day a true Cambodian experience or recreational activity. This is what they do. Here the kids were entertained playing with some of the other Cambodian kids. Here's some more water buffalo. Just crossing the street on the side of the road. Okay. Here we get to watch the sunset. <laughs> then they took us for a little sunset cruise on their boats. That wrapped up our day.